Perkinelmer, Inc., is an American global corporation focused in the business areas of diagnostics, life science research, food, environmental and industrial testing. Its capabilities include detection, imaging, informatics, and service. Perkinelmer produces analytical instruments, genetic testing and diagnostic tools, medical imaging components, software, instruments, and consumables for multiple end markets. Perkinelmer is part of the S&P 500 index and operates in 150 countries. Topic: History. Topic: Founding Companies. Perkinelmer was founded in 1937 by Richard Perkin and Charles Elmer as an optical design and consulting company. In 1944, Perkin Elmer entered the analytical instruments business, and in the early 1990s, partnered with Cetus Corporation and later Hoffman LaRoche to pioneer the polymerase chain reaction PCR equipment industry. Analytical Instruments business was also operated from 1954 to 2001 in Germany, by the Bodensiewerk Perkin Elmer GmbH located in Überlingen at Lake Constance, and England Perkin Elmer Limited at Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire. EG&G was founded in 1931 by two MIT professors, Harold Edgerton and Kenneth Germshausen in a Boston garage. The company was originally incorporated in 1947 as EG&G. <laughs> Computer Systems Division Perkin Elmer was involved in computer manufacture for a time. The Perkin Elmer Computer Systems Division was formed through the purchase of Interdata, Inc., an independent computer manufacturer, in 1973-74 for some $63 million. This merger made Perkin Elmer's annual sales rise to over $200 million. This was also known as Perkin Elmer's Data Systems Group. The 32 bit computers were very similar to an IBM system, 370, but ran the OS 32 MT operating system. The Wollongong Group provided the commercial version of the Unix port to the Interdata 730 seconds hardware, known as Edition 7 Unix. The port was originally done by the University of Wollongong in New South Wales, Australia, and was the first Unix port to hardware other than the Digital Equipment Corporation PDP family. By 1982 the Wollongong Group Edition 7 Unix and Programmers Workbench PWB were available on models such as the Perkin Elmer 3210 and 3240 minicomputers. In 1985, the computing division of Perkin Elmer was spun off as Concurrent Computer Corporation. 1999 Modern Perkin Elmer traces its history back to a merger between divisions of what had been two S&P 500 companies, EG&G Inc. formerly NYSE, EGG of Wellesley, Massachusetts and Perkin Elmer formerly NYSE, PKN of Norwalk, Connecticut. On May 28, 1999, the non-government side of EG&G Inc. purchased the Analytical Instruments Division of Perkin Elmer, its traditional business segment, for $425 million, also assuming the Perkin Elmer name and forming the new Perkin Elmer Company, with new officers and a new board of directors. At the time, EG&G made products for diverse industries including automotive, medical, aerospace and photography. The old Perkin Elmer board of directors and officers remained at that reorganized company under its new name, PE Corporation. It had been the life sciences division of Perkin Elmer, and its two component tracking stock business groups, Solera Genomics NYSE, CRA, and PE Biosystems formerly NYSE, PEB, were centrally involved in the highest profile biotechnology events of the decade, the intense race against the Human Genome Project Consortium, which then resulted in the genomics segment of the technology bubble. It should also be noted that Perkin Elmer purchased the Boston operations of NEN Life Sciences in 2001. Topic: Recently. 
In 1992, the company merged with Applied Biosystems. In 1997 they merged with Perceptive Biosystems. On July 14, 1999, the new analytical instruments maker Perkinelmer cut 350 jobs, or 12%, in its cost reduction reorganization. In 2006, Perkinelmer sold off the Fluid Sciences Division for approximately $400 million. The aim of the sell off was to increase the strategic focus on its higher growth health sciences and photonic markets. Following on from the sell-off, a number of small businesses were acquired, including Spectral Genomics, Improvision, Evotech Technologies, Euroscreen, Viacel, and Avalon Instruments. The brand, Evotech Technologies, remains the property of Evotech, the former owner company. Perkinelmer had a license to use the brand till the end of year 2007. Perkinelmer has continued to expand its interest in medicine with the acquisitions of clinical laboratories. In July 2006, it acquired NTD Labs located on Long Island, New York. The laboratory specializes in prenatal screening during the first trimester of pregnancy. In 2007, it purchased Viacel, Inc. for $300 million, which included its offices in Boston and Cord Blood Storage Facility in Kentucky near Cincinnati. The company was renamed Viacord. In March 2008, Perkinelmer purchased Pediatrics Screening, formerly Neogen Screening, a laboratory located in Bridgeville, PA specializing in screening newborns for various inborn errors of metabolism such as phenylketonuria, hypothyroidism, and sickle cell disease. It renamed the laboratory Perkinelmer Genetics, Inc. In May 2011, Perkinelmer announced the signature of an agreement to acquire Cambridge Soft and the successful acquisition of Artis Labs. In September 2011, Perkinelmer bought Caliper Life Sciences for $600 million. In January 2017, the company announced it would acquire the Indian in vitro diagnostic company, Tulip Diagnostics. In May of the same year the company acquired Euroimmune Medical Laboratory Diagnostics for approximately $1.3 billion. Topic. Programs Topic. Hubble Optics Project Perkin Elmer's Danbury Optical System Unit was commissioned to build the optical components of the Hubble Space Telescope. The construction of the main mirror began in 1979 and completed in 1981. The polishing process ran over budget and behind schedule, producing significant friction with NASA. Due to a miscalibrated null corrector, the primary mirror was also found to have a significant spherical aberration after reaching orbit on STS-31. Perkin Elmer's own calculations and measurements revealed the primary mirror's surface discrepancies, but the company chose to withhold that data from NASA. A NASA investigation heavily criticized Perkin Elmer for management failings, disregarding written quality guidelines, and ignoring test data that revealed the miscalibration. Corrective optics were installed on the telescope during the first Hubble Service and Repair Mission STS-61. The correction, Corrective Optics Space Telescope Axial Replacement, was applied entirely to the secondary mirror and replaced existing instrumentation, the aberration of the primary mirror remained uncorrected. The company agreed to pay U.S. $15 million, essentially foregoing its fees in polishing the mirror, to avoid a threatened liability lawsuit under the False Claims Act by the federal government. Hughes Aircraft which acquired the Danbury Optical System Unit one month after the launch of the telescope, paid $10 million. The Justice Department asserted that the companies should have known about the flawed testing. Trade Group Aerospace Industries Association protested when concerns were raised in the aerospace industry that aerospace companies might be held liable for failed equipment. KH-9 Hexagon 
Perkin-Elmer built the optical systems for the KH-9 hexagon series of spy satellites at a facility in Danbury, Connecticut. In the 1950s, an aerial panoramic camera lens was capable of recording the entire state of Pennsylvania in two flyovers, with resolution that enabled one to count the autos on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Topic focus areas Cellular research Clinical genetics and diagnostics Drug discovery Environmental analysis Air, water, and soil testing and analysis Food, flavors and agricultural analysis Food safety Forensic analysis Hydrocarbon processing Life science research Lubricants and oils Imaging, lighting, sensors Pharmaceutical development and manufacturing Polymers Semiconductors and electronics Renewable energy Analysis and testing for biofuels Solar, and Wind Energy Global Multivendor Laboratory Maintenance and Repair Services Global Laboratory Relocation Services Analysis of Uranium and Thorium See also Interdata, acquired in 1973 Concurrent Computer Corporation, spun off in 1985